All right, so what we're starting with here is a four inch drain pipe, sewer pipe also known as. Um, it's your 20, schedule 20, which means it's a thinner wall, but uh, it works great for this type of things where we're gonna be building stuff out of it. Um, I'm gonna cut straight down, then we're gonna put it in the oven at around 210 to 220 and it'll just basically flatten out for us and then we'll be able to work with it from there. Okay, we've got the PVC tube in there, bacon. I got it set to right around 210. This is our leftover oven. I've got a piece of countertop here, left a uh, cutting board basically. And I've got actually another one, and what I'm going to do is pull the piece out, flatten it out, sandwich it between those two, and that'll give us a nice flat piece to mark out our pattern from, and then we'll be able to start cutting and then shaping from there. So you can see it start to flatten out. Okay, I just pulled it out and stuck it in between my pieces and there you have it one nice flat piece of PVC and thickness on that is pretty good it's gonna be nice and easy to work with so let's go draw out our pattern and we'll get back to it okay here's my template and I went ahead and marked it down onto the piece. Going to be drilling one inch holes here, 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 and here. And that corresponds with my corners here, 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 and here. And then these are my holes for the uh, microphone and for the power coupler uh, connector. And then I also marked spots here, here, here and here and they're located right there and I'm gonna actually go through those with about an eighth inch uh, drill bit uh, what it does is give you a nice little landing point for your cuts coming in and then these will be folding down to make the holder so we're back I've got my piece cut out now I'm gonna be heating this up with a uh, heat gun and shaping it to my iPad mini. I'm just passing it over the heat. Till it gets warm enough to bend. Then I'm bending it into, into place. Okay, so here it is. And you can see on the back side, I've got a T-nut sitting right inside there. I had to add another spacer because the T-nut was too long. So I could either grind down the T-nut or I could just put another spacer in there. If I was to build another one, I would just have uh, one of those flaps basically bend back and um, take care of that spacing. But I had to go get a T-nut, which is basically nothing more than one of these here. And the one you need is the one quarter by 20 <clears throat> 20 threads per inch that's what fits on those so I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the tripod so you can see it there okay here it is it's now mounted you can see how I've rounded it off with files and with some sanding You can see where the T-nut's sitting in back. And it connects right to the tripod. So I'll show you how the iPad mini sits in here. And it sits in there nice and snug. Show you what it looks like from the back side. 
you can see here it's kind of hard to make out oh there you go there's where the camera is right there plug-in ports and as you can see it's not going anywhere so there you have it now I'm ready to start filming some of the other things that I'm gonna build and so you can show you how to do it too may God bless you and give you uh, wisdom and vision